All right, so here we are with more excerpts from Block Band. So we have our arrangement, our free arrangement of the song uh, Sugar by Maroon 5. And I'm working on the trombone part right now. Uh, looking at measure 25 in the trombone part. Uh, first of all, starting with the second trombones. Pretty simple. Uh, let me play that for you real quick here. <laughs> Okay, now the first trombone's are on top of that in harmony. Again, this is still measure 25. Two, ready? Yeah. So, again, second trombones have. And the first trombones have. So they should really, the two trombone parts should really play that out together. That's going to sound really cool. Now, if you look at measure 30, uh, 33 and 34, what happens is the second trombones get split in the two parts, second and third. The whole, uh, matter of fact, the whole second trombone part is really second and third trombone. Um, but it splits in harmony. The third trombone stay on what they had before. Okay, the second trombones now go up to what the first trombones had before. Again. And actually there's a slight difference there. Um, if you look on B4, there's actually an E flat there in that one that wasn't uh, that the second trombone, excuse me, the uh, second trombones did not have before. All right. But what's really cool is what the first trombones do. The first trombones jump up uh, even higher. Again. Oh, missed a note again. So you get all three of those parts coming in together. Now, for those of you guys, as uh, first trombone players in particular, who may have a hard time hitting that A flat, what you got to do is just simply work your way up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play um, from the E flat to the A flat and then to the F. I'm going to play that an octave lower. Now, the distance distance between the E flat and the F is a fourth. So if any particular scale that you're playing, if you just go up four notes, you'll get to that next note. So if you're playing the E-flat scale, E-flat, F, G, A-flat is their fourth note, okay? And then the F is only one note or major second above the E-flat. So basically, any scale I'm playing, if, I, if the first note is the root of the scale, E-flat, the A-flat is the fourth note, and the F is the second note. I'm going to start an octave down. And then they're just going to keep going up by half steps, okay? So first of all, here's the E-flat, A-flat, F, and a low octave. Okay? So now I'm going to do it in E natural. So E natural, A is the fourth, and F sharp would be the uh, major second. Okay, let's go up to F. So that would be F, B flat, and G. All right, so now let's go up to uh, F sharp. So that's going to be uh, F sharp, B natural, and then... Uh, G sharp or A flat, as I like to think of it. Okay, now G, C, and A. All right, so again, thinking of the first note as the name of that particular scale. So if I'm playing the G major scale, then the fourth note is C, and the second note is A, so G, C, A, okay? Hope you guys are following along with me. All right, let's go, let's keep going. 
Let's do A flat this time. So that's going to be A flat, D flat, B flat. <laughs> Okay, let's go to A natural this time. So that's going to be A, D, B natural. Okay, now B flat. So B flat, E flat, C. Okay, let's go to B natural. So that's going to be B natural. Uh, let's see here, E natural, and then uh, C sharp. Okay, let's go C, so that's going to be C, F, and then D. I prefer to play my D's in fourth position. Um, I'm able to control the tuning of that a little bit better. Okay, so now let's see what we just do. C, so let's do D flat. So D flat, uh, G flat, and then E flat. Okay, so we're almost there. Okay, now let's do D. So that's going to be D and then G, and then E. Okay, now we're at the notes that we need. E flat, A flat, and F. And after working my way up, it really doesn't seem nearly as hard. But listen, for any of you brass players, you never want to stop at the note that you're trying to hit. You always want to go past that, okay? <clears throat> so that way it's easy to hit the note that you actually need to hit. So let's keep going. So E natural to A natural to F sharp. <laughs> And let's go again to, uh, that's F, and then B flat, and G. All right. Uh, let's do it again to, that's going to be F sharp, and then B natural, and then G sharp, or A flat. Let's see here. So that was what F sharp we just did. Let's go to G this time. G and then C and then A. Okay. And then finally, let's do one more. So my goal is to go up a fourth from where I need to be. So I need to be able to play the, uh, starting on E flat to A flat. So therefore, I should need to, I should be able to start on A flat and go up to what is that? D flat, okay, and then B flat. Okay. Now, as you notice, of course, like any brass player, you know, the higher I go, the more. Uh, start to struggle a little bit or uh, get a little inaccurate. I'm sure you guys want to know how high could I go. I can go pretty high, we, uh, particularly with some more practice. But the thing about it is that you want to be struggling. It's okay to be struggling on the high notes as long as you're able to play higher than you need to go. You don't want to be struggling on the notes that you need to play. That's just not cool at all. Struggle on the notes that you don't need to play, okay? All right, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that and picked up a lot. When you get to that measure, even though you can't hear it on the recording really well, 
that trombone part that we put in there really, really makes the song cool. Ba da da ba da ba ba ba. That's measure twenty five, and then thirty three. Ba da da ba da ba ba ba. All right, enjoy, guys. <laughs> 